Hello, my name is Greg Smith from the SMA Solar Academy, and today I'm going to talk to you about two communication options for the Sunny Boy TL US series of inverters. So the two methods use either a WebConnect module or the RS-485 module. Now each module will send information to the Sunny portal. The only difference, really, is that the WebConnect module will connect directly to the customer's router, whereas the RS-485 module will go from the module to the web box and then to the customer's router. Regardless of which module you use, we recommend that you install the module first before installing the SPS wiring. Everything you need for the installation of the communication device is in the shipping box. You'll get the module for the associated communication, the cable gland, and installation documentation for the module that you've selected. Now the installation for both is very similar. There's just a few subtle differences and for the beginning of this demonstration we're going to start with the WebConnect module. Okay, so the first step is to remove the black cover on the inverter, which I've already done to save some time. The second thing you're going to do is unscrew the LCD display retention screw, and we'll just lift that up and lock it in place like that. Now we can see where the WebConnect module is going to go. And the first thing I'm going to do is kind of feed the ribbon cable around the top of the LCD display, just like this. Then we'll insert the hex screw into the retaining area. And then we'll take a three millimeter hex driver, finish securing the WebConnect module to the inverter. And then I'm going to lower the LCD display, reach up and grab the ribbon cable from the WebConnect module. And we're going to put it into this little slot right here on top, you gently push it in, and now it's secured in place. So once the ribbon cable is secured in place, go ahead and lift up the LCD display again, because now you're going to install the cable gland in one of the open 3 quarter inch knockouts. So I'm going to put this one right here. And once you get that nice and tight, the next thing you're going to do is feed your Ethernet cable through one of the open holes in the cable gland. Now I'm going to pull the Ethernet cable through the cable gland and connect it into an open RJ45 slot on the WebConnect module itself. They're labeled A and B. It doesn't matter uh, for a single inverter where you're plugging it in, so I'm just going to plug it into A. The other end of the Ethernet cable will then connect directly to the customer's router. Now you can connect up to four inverters using the WebConnect module together and they will show up as one plant on the Sunny portal. And all you have to do is connect another Ethernet cable here on port B to port A on inverter number two and then B to A, B to A, etc. Now you can connect more than four inverters if you want, but it, groups of four will show up on the Sunny Portal page. And that is all you have to do to install the WebConnect module. Now the cool thing is that the RS-485 module has the exact same installation procedure. The only difference is that the terminals are different. And for the RS-485 module, you will directly connect this module to a web box using communication wire like this. Now this just happens to be CAT5. I've taken three of the wires and connected them to the 2, 5, and 7 terminal here. All I'm going to do is take the other end of this wire. I'm going to connect it to a male adapter that comes with the web box and then I'm going to plug that adapter onto the bottom of the web box. The only thing left to do now is to connect the web box to the customer's router and that's it. Included with the RS-485 module is this cabling plan that outlines different ways to connect the inverter to the web box. Now, the only thing left that we have to do once we get to this point with either the WebConnect or the RS-485 module is to register those modules on the Sunny portal. 
To register the WebConnect module, just go to sunnyportal.com and click on the Plant Setup Assistant icon on the lower right-hand side of the screen. Enter in the PIC and RID numbers located on the WebConnect sticker on the front, and that's all you have to do. To register the RS-485 module, refer to the WebBox installation guide since you're going to have to manually interface with the WebBox to complete registration. And that's all there is to this installation process. If you'd like to learn more, you can go to our website at sma-america.com, click on the Solar Academy tab, and you can check out our future training events. My name is Greg Smith. Thanks for watching.